Astralis is the best team in the world right now, at least in my books. One thing that you can say for sure though, is that they are better than Team Liquid. Let me show you why Astralis is better than Team Liquid based off of their very recent matchup in New York. You know what's also the best? Skin Baron, the CSGO marketplace for you. And here's why. Skin Baron is always on top with giveaways. I mean, just for this specific video, you can win a 50 euro voucher to use on Skin Baron. Here's the winner of the last 25 euro voucher giveaway from the last video. He actually reads his DMs. Good job, dude. Just leave a like, a comment, and drop your Twitter handle within that comment so I have a way of contacting you, and you're in the draw to win a 50 euro voucher to buy any skin you want on Skin Baron. They are based in Germany, and we all know how anal us Germans can be about rules, so yes, they are 100% trustable. You can sell your skins and cash out for money to your bank or PayPal. You can buy skins a lot. I mean, really, a lot cheaper than on Steam's marketplace. And you have various ways to pay. Use the link in the description if you want to try it out. If you end up buying skins via my link, I end up getting a portion of your purchase as well. Thank you. Astralis played versus Liquid on three maps during ESO 1 New York. DE Vertigo, which ended 69 in favor of Astralis. DE Dust 2, with a 69 score in favor of Liquid. And Astralis taking the series 2-1 with a 16-13 win on DE Overpass. On Vertigo, Liquid started off with a solid CT side, but the teamwork from Astralis just broke Liquid. Liquid just couldn't handle the aggression on A by Device, Sipix, and Magisk. Aggressive again. Astralis, they're doing it. Rinse, repeat. Yeah, it's the same setup. Two players towards the scaffolding, and it will be Device to protect them. So, will the swing come from Stewie here? He knows there's a chance Device is waiting with the AWP, but look at the utility. They can't find the angle. Oh my goodness, this is such brilliant play from Astralis. So overwhelming. Oh they can't my. do anything about it. Liquid have been shut down. What can you do? Genuine question, not sure. On this two, however, a complete different story. Liquid could flourish with their individual skill and take it very convincingly themselves. Astralis really wasn't available on the map. It's down to Elish. Twist has done some of the heavy lifting. Two frags. The time is on his side. Elish hasn't got a single frag to show for himself here on Dust2. But he's going to be pressured. Naded. Shot at. They're defusing. He's going to get a three. Elish finds the four for Liquid. One versus three. Both maps with a score 69. That sounds a lot closer than both the maps actually were, though. That's why I decided to not touch on the first maps in detail. However, the first maps perfectly displayed what the two teams are about. Liquid's individual skill is just through the roof. They make plays. Oh, dear lord, they can make plays. Astralis players are incredible individuals as well, but their eye for detail just took them above Liquid again, and will probably take them above everybody else in the foreseeable future. It's the death in their game that puts them one step ahead. Most of Liquid's crucial round wins come off of quick mid-round decisions or pure individual brilliance, such as this. Nitro's orb, double, triple! Nitro and orb! Overpass, an iconic combination. He's doing it again and again. Presented with an opportunity, trying to hit the sporadic wall bang. He's not done. He wants the ace, it's taken from him, but spectacular from Nitro. He is laughing right now. Really not much more to say then. Holy sh**. Astralis won some close rounds like this one. And indeed, this play does feel like money. No kit, don't forget, tags him, Glaive's done enough. Look to take the fight again, just tucks himself into the corner, Elise gets the frag! 10 seconds on the defuse, but it was a close one. Draw the fire. Nice work from Elise. He had, a, had to go through a lot of processes of elimination. It's gonna be right down to the wall! No, he has to go down! Oh, what? He doesn't get it! Which kind of tells us to not celebrate too early. Liquid, on the other hand, also won close rounds like these. One versus two for Stewie. He needs this. Five kills to his name, Alex. If he pull this one off, all will be forgiven. It's a one versus one now. Dupree, oh, Debbie no. Bush through. Stewie's got this. He's done it. It was a must win clutch. And to be really fair with you, it was very unlucky that one, Stewie got peaked while throwing that smoke. So he messed up the smoke. And then he decided to Molotov short because of missing that smoke. And it actually hit Sipex while trying to walk to the bridge there giving away his position, making it an easy one versus one. So I'd say on the front of winning close rounds, both teams were pretty even. 
Astralis, on the other hand, displayed an eye for detail versus Liquid that's just mind-blowing. Not to mention their own strategies, executes and setups. Watching Overpass, even though it was close, it always sort of felt like Astralis had the upper hand as the preparation was shining through while watching it. But still, kudos to both teams. I'm looking forward to many, many more series of Astralis vs. Liquid in this form right now. It's just absolutely entertaining to watch. The Round number four. I find it quite ironic that in the beginning of the game, you see the main difference happening already. Astralis does have a few variations of the peep bomb side take. Look how drilled and methodical this round is going to be played out and how they take the site. It's beautiful. <laughs> it starts off by them molotoving short so nobody would push short. They still leave the short control in hindsight that a liquid player might push the molotov. They then flash themselves into short taking the actual control. After that happened a nade follows up towards the jump spot boosting position near graffiti to scare the CTs away or keeping them at bay if they would like to potentially peek. If Liquid gets naded trying to boost there, I'm 100% certain Liquid would have broken the boost idea off. So that kind of secures that for Astralis. Now what follows are two Molotovs towards the CT area on both sides, smokes and flashes for bridge to clear monster as well as barrels from short B textbook Counter-Strike Execute. How Astralis lost the round then? Elish turns up with an insane individual play by getting two people through the smoke. While I say the third kill was more of a must-have for a player of his caliber. Nonetheless, stunning job by Elish. The round should have been won by Astralis, but you can never count out an enemy going insane. Unfortunately for Astralis in this case. Round number eight. This isn't a groundbreaking play by Astralis. However, I felt the need to include that they did try some out of the box boosts. They also did a three man tower in an eco round next to Graffiti in round 26 to net a kill, which nearly happened as well. They took chances with some plays, and this one even paid off by Device getting an entry kill with the AWP, something you don't see too often, to be honest with you. A lot of people attempt this boost, really doesn't work out too often. Credit where credit is due. Maybe Liquid should have taken some of these too. Astralis ended up winning this round. Liquid decided to save almost instantly after the bomb plant. Good job. Round 11. Meanwhile, Liquid did sit with four people in a heaven smoke, which in my eyes was very questionable. It sort of worked out for them as well with one kill from that stack. This was the only out of the box play I recognized though. Round number 15. This round needs a quick highlight as I felt it was a full on puck play. Something that simply doesn't work against Astralis. I didn't see any reason for Naf to flash himself into fountain like that on his own. Honestly, what do you expect is gonna happen? I'm sorry if this sounds a little bit too harsh, but what the hell do you think is gonna happen when you flash yourself through fountain solo with a deagle against Astralis? And then you have three rotators through connector, one by one by one. For me, that just goes to show that death of liquid is missing once the shots are. Round number 16, the pistol round. A perfect example of how well Astralis knows or studied Liquid. Liquid nearly always takes a short control and Astralis just counters that perfect. The two top spawns from Astralis instantly go towards short, whereas the other two players are getting the boost up to have the first contact, accompanied by a playing connector that's pushing to short. Simply outplayed, nothing else to say about that. Round number 18, as stated earlier in the video, I mentioned that the Astralis players know the opposing players' individual habits way too good. Even though there's no support in middle, notice how Dupree is sitting in the same corner and connector, just holding one angle, fully exposed from any player making a move from middle down to him. However, I feel he knows the habit of Stewie that he likes to clear underground himself while his team is off towards doing something else, something Dupree and Astralis as a whole are aware of. Dupree wins the duel, gets away with it, an entry frag for free, so to say. Round 21. Astralis feels so confident that they flashed themselves onto monster. The timing was a bit off due to Liquid just sneaking to that position. The flash a few seconds later and the whole of Liquid would have suffered a round loss as a consequence of Astralis being again prepared, not by a defensive setup, but this time by an aggressive setup. Round number 23. Liquid pushes onto the A bomb site while getting an entry frag onto Dupree very late into the round with only 20 seconds remaining. I really can't take credit for this as it came from the post game interview by Device himself. Probably I would have never noticed that to be honest with you. However, what Device said is that Dupree, as soon as he died, calls that they will push through truck due to him knowing the nature of how Liquid approaches this situation. Device moves into a perfect position and nets him not only one kill, but two. The third kill onto 
the bomb set isn't up to Device either. It's because of a brilliant flash from his teammate from CT. Device would have missed that guy and would have gotten shot in the side. But because he sees him slightly delayed and the enemy is fully flashed, he finishes the round with another kill on the bomb site. It's a stunning 4K in the end as he already picked up a kill very early. After hearing how the in-game communication worked in this round, I'd say this was one of the most beautiful team efforts I've seen as of late. Round number 26. Let's have a look at this. Did you see anything special? Not really, right? Well, here it is though. It's very common for Stewie to hold this tight angle where you can get info. You can't really kill anyone, but you can definitely get knowledge whether someone is peeking underground or isn't underground or not. A good play. However, I'm very confident that Glaive knew that Stewie is holding that angle or likes to hold that angle. And Glaive abused that knowledge to Astralis' advantage. Notice how Glaive keeps showing himself to that exact angle over and over and over again while the priest sneaks up. That's a genius play. Round number 28. As said earlier, credit where credit is due. As soon as Liquid realizes there's two people pushed up towards middle, they take quick action and push towards B through the smokes with utility and it just works out wonderfully for them. Round number 29. The last round of the map. With two people equing for Astralis because they want a full equipped and a stacked squad going into the potentially deciding round at 15-14, they decide to aggress middle again. But this time, it just works. And that's what I love about this. Astralis plays so many unexpected but also really expected mind games. But you never know what's coming. I love to see this. And I hope you love to see this too. I stepped out of my comfort zone here and honestly I never expected this to be that much work with scripting, watching and finding these things and so forth. So please let me know what you think of this and how I could improve these kind of videos if I were to try to do them again. Thank you very much for watching. Hey, if you enjoyed the video, please do not forget to leave a like, a comment and subscribe with the bell so you will be notified when I upload new videos. Thank you.